Ever wish you could put your face in any video without spending hours editing? I'm about to show you how to face swap videos in ComfyUI fast, free, and insanely realistic. In this tutorial, we're diving into one of ComfyUI's coolest tricks face swapping in videos. Whether you're making memes, film edits, or creative projects, you'll see how to replace faces without expensive software. I'll walk you through everything from setup to final render, so by the end, you'll have your own professional quality face swap ready to share. Let's jump in. So once you have a brand new workflow in Comfy UI pulled up, go ahead and add a brand new node. Just double click the screen and search for load video. The node you're gonna wanna load is the load video upload by Video Helper Suite. If you don't have this, you can install this with the manager node button on the top right right here and click custom nodes manager and you can look for that specific node that I'm using. So going back in, video upload or load up video, go ahead and click this one right here. You can see that I already have a video pulled up. I'm not gonna use this video, this is from a different project. So go ahead and click this choose video to upload button and then select the video you wanna use. This is the video that I wanna use. Uh, there is audio when you hover your mouse over the clip. If you wanna pause the video, you can right, right click it and then I'm gonna actually mute the preview and I will pause the preview as well. So then it just freezes the frame so it doesn't continually play. Now looking at the settings here, I'm gonna go over some of these settings. I usually leave these at default because I am pretty much face swapping for the whole video, but force rate, this is a parameter that allows you to set a specific frame for the video. So if you want to override the original frame of the video, you can specify the desired frame there. Uh, let's see here, custom width and custom height. This is just the custom dimensions of the videos that you want. So I would leave those at zero if you want to keep the same aspect ratio. Now skip first frames. This is pretty much allowing you to skip to whatever frame you want in the video. Right now it's set to zero. So this will start from the very beginning of the video and take it all the way through the entirety of the video clip. Let's say that you wanted to start on frame 30th. It'll start on that 30th frame and only render the 30th frame till the end. And select every nth. This is a parameter that allows you to select every nth frame from the video. Um, so it's good for downsampling the frame rate. But I usually leave these as default. So let's go ahead and load up the next node here. So I'm gonna load up a preview image node. Go ahead and grab that one. And let's load up a reactor face swap. So right here, reactor fast face swap. This is the one that you're gonna to wanna to use. Again, you might need to download it from the manager section to install this custom node. Go ahead and add that in there and we're gonna add another preview image. You can right click the previous one that you made and clone it, or you can just add a new node. So I'm gonna go ahead and click clone, drag that over here, and the last one should be video combine. Again, it's from Video Helper Suite. Click on that, and there is the video combine. So now we're gonna connect all these nodes together. Now she lied, there is one more node that we do need to add. This is a load image node. And this is gonna be the image that you're gonna be loading into the video to swap the face. I'm not gonna use this image, this was from a different project, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new one. So this is the image that I'll be using. I just pulled this from Pexels. So that's the face we're using and we're gonna swap it onto the face of this model in this video. Now let's go ahead and connect all these nodes so we're gonna grab the image section of this node and drag it into the preview image. We're actually gonna drag that into the reactor node as well. Oh, right here. Then we're gonna load this image into the source image. I'm um, going back here for audio. If you wanna grab the audio for this video as well, you would drag this audio button all the way to the end and that will actually pull the audio file as well as the video file 
and combine it all together. In this case, I don't wanna grab the audio file here because it is copywritten, so I don't wanna get flagged on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that audio line. And then from the reactor, we are going to pull the swapped image and we're gonna put it into the preview image node so, so that we can see what's going on here. We're gonna grab that, put it in the video combine. And then the last thing that you're gonna to have to do is pretty much just look over all this information, make sure that it is all set. So there are different face detections that you can choose from. Right now it's set to retina face rest net 50. If you wanna change it or see what these different detection models can do, maybe one is better than the other, I would play around with that. But I don't usually mess with too much of this besides this gender input. So I know that the gender input is gonna be a female. If you're doing a male, you can select male. Um, again, detect gender source. The source, it's gonna be a female again. And then right here for the frame rate, Right now it's set to eight, so it's gonna be a bit choppy. I wanna do at least 30, just so that it's a little smoother, a little more natural. But keep in mind that the higher the frame rate you go, the longer it's gonna to take to generate and the higher VRAM that you need to create these videos. Um, I have a 5090, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, but that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and click run here. It'll go ahead and run through this workflow. It's gonna start with the load video. It's gonna grab all the frames in this video. Then once it grabs all the frames, it's going to put it in this preview image. So let's blow that up a little bit just so that you guys can see what's going on here. I'm gonna blow this preview image up as well. So this will take a minute for it to run. So I'm gonna let it run and do its thing and I will be back once some of it has been completed. Okay, so I am just about done with this face swap. I just wanted to show you the preview image, what exactly happens in this workflow if you don't understand it. So it grabs that video, it grabs every single frame here of the model, every movement she does, and then it'll grab every single frame, plug it into the face swap, and it'll face swap the face that you have onto each of those frames that it pulled then it's going to combine it all back into the video with the video combined. And it is just about done here. And it should generate a video right there. So there's the video that it generated. So it face swapped the face of this lady onto the video that I plugged in. Now, if you want to save this preview, go ahead and right click it, click save preview. And then that will pull up the window to allow you to save it on your desktop or a specified folder. Um, but that is a pretty simple workflow in terms of how to face swap a face onto an existing video. Um, so I figured this would help a lot of people who are um, learning Comfy UI, but that's pretty much what I have for you guys in this video. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If you guys want more content like this where I give you kind of simple steps on how to start learning Comfy UI, I know when I first got into it, it was very confusing. Um, just let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have other topic ideas or things you want me to brush up on. Um, send me a message on Instagram or something, and hopefully I can create a video for you guys to help you guys out. But like always, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace.